Welcome everyone to this daily Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for March 3rd of 2016, Thursday. I'm Athen and this is for Sidereal. If you are new to the channel, be sure to check out the link down below because the signs are different. All right, so still in the third quarter about that action phase and integration, we've got the moon actually shifting into a much easier placement, Sagittarius. Um, and this is actually harmonious too with the sun. I mean, it's still in that third quarter phase, but these two types of energies are much more compatible in that sense. So over the past couple of days, perhaps it's been a bit deeper. It was a bit more on that deep, intense, perhaps emotional level. Uh, that's been Scorpio and a fucus. But now the moon's going to go over that galactic center, that transformation point here uh, very early in the day, and then shift into Sagittarius. So Sagittarius is all about what's possible in life, really tapping into that adventurous spirit. So it could be emotional freedom. It could be wanting to tap into that adventure, see things in a new light. And I think those are certainly excellent energies to work with here today. It could also be maybe reading some philosophy, connecting to nature, that sort of stuff. Now, the sun's still in Aquarius, of course, so and especially easing up off that Neptune, <clears throat> still very much about accessing our true self this freedom of individuality and really expressing who we truly are. So that's the sun energy. That's the, the uh, energy we gain when we are actively involved with these Aquarius qualities. And I think those are, you know, integrating that with what's possible, good ways to work with it. You know, both of these parts of the chart are very much about freedom. You know, uh, Sagittarius is the life freedom. When we understand that life is very large, we have that top down perspective. Right. There's a tremendous freedom in that. We see our life path, our life journey. Now, Aquarius is the type of freedom of being ourself in that sense. So it's both freedom on an internal level with the moon here today on that life oriented perspective. And then the sun in Aquarius in that individual self-expressive perspective. All right. So that's the backdrop. We are still coming off of an aspect from yesterday. Venus sex dialing up to Uranus. So this is. Uh, quite nice. In fact, this is uh, changes to our enjoyments, new and exciting things, perhaps maybe mixing up things, maybe mixing up that routine and perhaps even coming to new values as of yesterday. So whatever that was later in the day, that sort of free spirited energy in that regards, a uh, great day for integrating that as well. And again, it could just be some intuition, some insights, but really seeing where we can apply these new values of ours or that more freedom oriented spirit of Uranus. So along with this, Mercury is actually going to be shifting into Aquarius this part of the week. So we'll likely start to feel this energy if we aren't already. Uh, this is that original and progressive thinking. You know, again, Aquarius is that strong, progressive, idealistic, original, innovative sort of quality. And Mercury here is our minds. So our minds really getting a dose of that uh, new progressive sort of energy. So it's great for new ideas. It's great for thinking outside the box. Uh, we could be perhaps a little bit more concerned on the intellectual level going into the rest of the week versus this more emotional level, which was the early part of the week with the moon in a fucus and Scorpio. Uh, but here too, you know, it's an elevated form of thinking because it is a mental sort of energy and Aquarius is an air sign. So it has that sort of uh, flow when it comes to the ideas. But that higher level, you know, really accessing again that true self and then through that, you know, communicating it, sharing it, applying it in the daily sphere. So that's going to be the general energy. Certainly the Sagittarius mixed with the Aquarius, uh, but still the third quarter is about taking action and building and that more grounded approach to the whole thing. Venus is also still in Capricorn. But on some note, you know, we're getting this dose of progressiveness, this innovativeness and really expressing our true self is certainly going to be highlighted. And I would say, especially with coming off of yesterday's perhaps excitement to mix things up. All right, so I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow.